welcome back to Kingdom Reviews. I'm your host, Future Keybearer. Time to look at some fun facts about Chain of Memories. To start off, this game started development alongside Kingdom Hearts 2. Nomura always wanted KH2 to take place one year after the first game, and Chain of Memories to be the bridge between the two games. What Nomura didn't always want, on the other hand, was putting the game on the GBA. It wasn't until he heard the fan demand for a handheld Kingdom Hearts title that he agreed to it. A decision that a lot of fans are still giving him crap for to this day. The game's original title was Kingdom Hearts Lost Memories. This was probably because losing his memories in this game was always planned to be the explanation as to why Sora would need to start at Square One for KH2. Personally, I prefer the title Chain of Memories because it's less on the nose and it makes for a great metaphor. Some of you may have noticed that there was only one Disney World from the first game that didn't make it into this one. That world being Deep Jungle. It was going to be in the game as seen by this early conceptual image. Hell, they even had a sprite ready for the Jungle King attack card. So why did they cut it? Legal issues. As far as I can tell, Square had problems securing the rights from Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated. Yeah, while they had permission to use Disney's interpretation of the story, Square still needed to get permission from the original rights owners. That to do this for quite a few properties, actually, including Peter Pan and Winnie the Pooh. So why couldn't they secure the rights? I don't know! I don't know. I couldn't find any information as to why Edgar Rice Burroughs Inc. wouldn't let Square use Tarzan for the game. Moving on to things that actually did make it into the game, did you know that the GBA version had a multiplayer option? It was just a little versus mode, but it exists! Hell, the Dark Ball card's ability is specifically for multiplayer. But seeing as how multiplayer didn't make the jump to PS2, the card was changed to automatically starting a duel in Riku's story and got cut from Sora's story entirely. But I am not complaining. It made completing my card collection that much easier. However, what did add some challenge to that quest was the extra room of rewards cards. Throughout the game, there are these special rooms that give special cards. And if you enter these rooms after you beat the game in the PS2 version, you'll find cards based off KH2. For some reason. And that's about all the interesting facts I can find about this game. If you guys have any more, please leave them in the comment section. Tune in next time as we take a look at a certain little oddity.